Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to Vlogmas day 11. And today's going to be a very, very fun and exciting day. I'm basically going to be spending, well, fun for me, <laughs> hopefully fun for you too, going to be spending the day getting everything ready to have our friends coming over this evening. We are having a two-night and two-day sleepover, which we have dubbed Friendmas. <laughs> the WhatsApp group is called Friendmas. And... Oh my gosh, I'm just so very excited. So I can't wait to get everything ready. Got a big food shop coming. I've got lots of arranging that I need to do around the house and in the greenhouse for the activities that I have got planned over the next couple of days. Um, we've woken up to another glorious frosty morning. So frosty, in fact, that it looks like it's snowed, even though it's just a layer of ice, crispy, sparkly ice over everything. It really does look magical. And I have got three layers on for this morning's workout. Simon is here, Charlie's just done his PT session and now it's my turn. I've got on my Lululemon super high-waisted leggings and then a thermal Nike, I think it's running top, and then my Varley fleece and a sports bra underneath. But anyway, darlings, let's go and get this workout over and done with and then it's time to start the house prep. to my phone it is currently minus four simon said his car was showing at minus six the hydrangea and the pine and the spruce are all frozen oh my gosh my hands are actually too numb to hold my camera much longer but i think it's going to stay frozen all day so i might head out for a walk once wrapped up warm it's december again i can't believe it So as you just saw, we have maneuvered the rugs. We now have the two Soho home rugs and um, I think it looks pretty darn good actually. So now we yeah. get to step out of bed and our feet will be on a rug. And then there is a little fold here, a little um, join there. Uh, which we've hidden ish under the chaise and then the rug expands out there. I think it looks yeah. so much cozier, doesn't it? It does. So I think the plan still is eventually a we can't justify spending the money right now, but we'll get a fitted um, sort of sizal style rug with a band on the edge mm. to go almost the size of the room up mm. to about probably with the stove up to about here. Lovely. And then same round there. One day. And then these will look good over that. Mm. I'm still Actually, it's a good opportunity to get your audience to uh, to interact. <laughs> um, I still think wherever we stay at any Sir house, they've got emperor beds. And no. just let me hear me out, hear me out. Don't need but anything this, bigger. Yeah, we could fit one, and they're so lovely and big. And I think we are going to replace this bed, and this is going to go in the other room eventually, once again, when we've saved up. But I think we'd go for an emperor. Person. Linen bundle, don't do emperor. Well, we, we can then launch a em linen bundle, who we love working with. Opportunity to launch Old House Our Home collection. Linen Collection. Yeah, which includes an Emperor set. More excitingly. Oh, shit. Look at this incredible view. It's actually looking a little bit less frosty already because the sun's been on the fields, but. It's really tech, I mean, it's yeah. Really it's amazing. It's right, so beautiful. Right, We're Advent calendar time. Let's do it, mate. What day are we on now? We're on day eight. Day eight. Yeah. Woohoo! Cool. 
There you go. I day think, eight. I think I spotted day eight. Eight's quite a far hard one to find, actually. Oh. I thought that was eight, but that's this. Ah, here we go. This one says from Santa. Right. If ever there was a room that is out of keeping with this house, I know exactly what room that is. And it's probably a room that 97% of the vlog watchers have never seen inside yeah. before. Welcome to our London bathroom. <laughs> London. Ooh! Jazzy, what's yeah. it on the toilet? Yeah, look, there you go. So first of all, before we do that, so this this bathroom will probably be the last bathroom, and we haven't we haven't refurbed any bathroom yet. But this will be the last one we do refurb because it's actually not really used. Yeah. But it's very London style. I think it would look great in a London flat. I want to open these in the garden. Yeah. Um, but I don't think this bathroom suits this house. Yeah. So I think this is this bathroom. We want to go a bit Annabelle's with it eventually with some crazy wallpaper. But anyway, right. Gosh, so we've got a selection of Wedgwood items here, darling. Very yeah. gosh. Well, do you know, um, Mum and Dad used to always get a one decoration from Wedgwood a year. All right, let's do this, mate. Back on camera, unboxed safely by Charlie, and we have got a snow globe. I can pretend that I'm Lindsay Lohan in Falling for Christmas. Yeah. So, oh, so really what? Cute. What Wedgwood do? So Wedgwood, obviously a British brand, heritage brand, mm -hmm. they launch a slow slow globe every year. Aww. So I just thought, obviously we're not going to get one every year, but this is their one from this year. That's gorgeous. It's quite contemporary, but I do really like it. And I just it's thought, lovely. we don't have anything like... It would still look really nice like in the pink room, it's like making our bedrooms a bit festive, but that... like sticking with the theme of the room. That's really That's cool. That's exactly what I was thinking. It kind of reminds me of the bear and the hare. Yeah. Do you know what? The only thing that, the, and this always happens when I buy you gifts, is literally yesterday, Guerlain sent you, I think it's Guerlain, or one of the high-end brands, mm. beauty brands, mm. might not be Guerlain, but one of those brands downstairs yeah. have sent a smaller snow globe. Aww. And it's it's still really nice. It's not Hopefully it's not quite as nice as this one, but it, it's always like typical. I always get outdone by brands. But as you say, I think it'll be nice to have a few small Christmassy touches in bedrooms. Absolutely. Well, that's gorgeous. Thank you, darling. And then let's have a little look at the board. I can't board. actually remember what's in there. One of them is strawberry and basil leaves, apparently. Oh. So well, you went for a kitchen garden theme. Yeah. Let's have a look. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my gosh. I'll be careful with these. Yeah, wow. they're super fragile. Wowee. That is so beautiful. Look. It's literally a strawberry flower. The camera's not loving it, but oh, there we go. How stunning! I can't remember what the other one's that is like. absolutely gorgeous. I wonder if these are like hand paint or is it printed? I don't know, but that is so I don't beautiful. know. I mean, Wedge, as I say, Wedgwood, do they have a raw warrant? Pretty sure they oh. have a raw warrant. They probably did. I mean, they're, they've been around since 1759, apparently. Wow. Um, I, I do know. love, some brands are very clever with their scents. They oh. are creative with it. Oh, this is, they're both strawberries. Yeah, I think that's the theme of that's them, actually. Clever. So this one, the strawberries are red and gold, and then this one, the strawberries are pink Let's and see, gold. Let's see, just stop moving it for a second, and it will focus. Will it focus? Not loving them. It doesn't like shine. No. But it's there you absolutely go. gorgeous, darling. Thank you. Good. Beautiful. There you go. Lovely. Well, um, yeah, I mean, as I say, some, sometimes when I buy gifts, they're as much for me as well, because I love Christmas. But, I but, enjoy but yeah, so um, we're in day eight. And I'm st I've, we've luckily we've still got lots of cool things to come. Woo! Right. Gosh, what a lucky ducky I am. And at least these ones aren't size dependent. <laughs> <laughs> right. There you go. Lovely. room is ready for our guests to arrive. What do you think about the cushions there? I um, like them, it's yeah, quite inviting. Because mum and dad actually, they stayed last and they left the cushions here. Mm-hmm. Um, because they stripped the bed for us, which was very kind of them. Mm. And I just saw them there and I thought, actually, it does look better and it is, as you say, it it's inviting. Nice. Yeah. Um, We've popped the snow globe down here, which looks really lovely well, on the tray. Hydrangeas or something today, they'll dry out. Yes, that'd be great. Um, for there. Gorgeous. Oh, it looks so looks lovely fab. in here. The one thing I still want to change nope. is the bed. But... Nope. 
I love these. You did well finding these. Yeah, I can't remember where they're from. But... Gorgeous. Great work, darling. I realise as well, I did not yet show you the finished stair banister in full daylight. As you can see, it's a little bit of a, an assault course actually getting down the steps because it's quite wild and wonderful with twigs and branches sticking out at all angles. But the ladies added some finishing touches yesterday. So we've got clusters of plumes, pheasant plumes. We have got um, more fresh berries that have gone in. I just love the structure of the branches and the twigs covered in the keep confusing myself over the word, lichen, lichen, lichen. And then if you meander your way past the protruding branches, you've got a selection here with hydrangea, the pink pepperberry. It just looks so wonderful. And I love how almost like mythical and it looks like it's really enchanted for us, like s swirling its way around the staircase. I could not be happy with this. They really have done a fantastic job. And like Charlie said at the end of the last vlog, I think it should last very, very well indeed. Um, let's also go into the dining room and I'll show you how that incredible structure looks in daylight. And here we go, my goodness, it really could not be the better, any better size for this room. Again, they've added more berries. I think they've added some um, hydrangea bits in here as well. I say I'm showing you in daylight, but we have got Dexy. We've got the laundry hung up in the window, so it's still quite dark in here. But yeah, it looks fantastic. And it's just a really nice, I say subtle, I mean, it's absolutely ginormous, but the fact that it's overhead, overhanging, means that it's, not going to stop anyone from being able to see their their um, opposite partner at the dinner table. What do you think, chicken nugget? I just do a little stretch here to show my approval. We've had a little bit of a clear out in the glass cupboard because we have got some new glasses. We have got some gorgeous new glasses from Dalesford in here. I think we're going to pick up maybe four more of each of these. This really beautiful fluted green design are the newest of the collections. So we've got the water glasses and then in here we've also got the wine glasses and I just think they're so lovely and they're going to be perfect for our Christmas table. And then we've also got these which are perfect for orange juice and things like that for breakfast. <coughs> Come on then! Let's go and see who's on these barking and Felix is that enough? We're off. Oh my goodness, that is so cold. Wow. It is literally the perfect frosty winter morning. Yikes, it's blooming chilly. I love how all of the foliage looks when it's covered in frost. <laughs> Oh, it's all crispy. <laughs> Dicky gets really hyper when it's frosty or snowy. I think maybe the smells get accentuated. <laughs> Where are you off to, my bonbon? I'm off, mummy. Leave me alone. I just want to explore. I'm just having fun, you know? Hello, my bun. Gosh, it's so still. Let's go and see how the kitchen garden is faring in the frost. All of the crunchy. All of the anemone flowers have now completely dropped off. I'm going to really struggle to pull together any flower displays in the house using foraged bits. Might have to go to a shop. Ooh, the um, I always call this skimmia, but I think it's sedum, sedums. Looks like it's got frost or snow sprinkled on the top there. Look at these. <laughs> Very festive. Look at the frost glands. Glands? Frost? I don't know what you call them. Particles? Oh, since we were away in Nashville, the birds have had quite the nibble on our crab apples. Quite a few left though. Birds certainly aren't going to be left hungry during this week of frost. At least the kitchen garden looks tidy. I think I might have just stood on a frozen dog poo. The strawberry leaves. I'm surprised that they still look so happy and juicy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my Asian greens are frozen solid. My bok choy. 
Oh, the mint looks quite pretty, the contrast of the, the white of the frost on the leaves. So funny. Gosh, just find frost so magical. Simple things. Oh my goodness! I think the water fountain is frozen. Because normally, <gasps> normally it would be um, running. Oh no! Oh my gosh! <laughs> gosh, frozen algae. Wow, that is how cold it is. That is quite frozen. Gosh. You hear my tummy rumbling. Look at that view. Oh, look at Dickie coming. Coming through the archway. You're a lovely little boy. Hope my dahlia tubers aren't too, um, too cold in the ground. The wildflower tub, here he comes. My little frosty bunny rabbit. This is what the wildflower turf looks like at this time of year, just new foliage creeping out the ground. This looks quite... look, it looks Jurassic, doesn't it? Hello, frosty bunny. Hello, my frosty bunny rabbit. What a frozen... a frozen rosebud. Wow, you don't normally see rosebuds at this time of year. Hello, my frosty sausage. What are you exploring? <laughs> Mummy, it's all so exciting. Right. I need to hop in the shower, make myself some breakfast, and I've got a busy day of getting the house ready ahead of me. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Epic fail. Okay, darlings, I've finally showered <laughs> after spending the morning in my Lululemons. Wow. Yeah, I know, thank goodness for that. Darling, would you like to explain why we're in the drawing room and what yes. we're unboxing? We are unboxing, so very, uh, very quickly, we're super excited that we are now working with Dalesford. Yay. As many of you loyal vlog subscribers will know, Josie and I love Dalesford. We champion it all the time. We go there every week, we eat in their restaurants. We just love everything about Dalesford. Mm -hmm. um, and so really excitingly they approached us and said, look, we, we love the fact that you supported us and we'd love to work with you this Christmas. And something that we've loved receiving in the past from people and giving to others are their amazing Christmas hampers. So Dalesford have sent us one of their sort of staple, or I guess best-selling hampers. Mm -hmm. I believe this is the Christmas pantry hamper. We'll double check. Wow, that's um, perfect for us. And essentially it's a selection of all of their, a carefully curated selection of all of their favourite um, Christmassy pieces. Mm -hmm. You can send these um, nationwide, which that's is a amazing thing. Yeah, so now you don't have to live in the Cotswolds to receive one of these. Or London. Um, or London, and um, they're beautiful. We, we like to reuse the baskets, we've used them for kindling and stuff like that. They also but, just look gorgeous under the tree. They do, and they're great for storing Christmas decorations. Yes. Um, and one thing worth mentioning before we open it up is, and I found this out after reading this, I Googled it. So essentially for every hamper that Dalesford sell, mm -hmm. they are going to dedicate a tree sapling that they're gonna be planting. Lovely. Um, so essentially they're planting a, tr a young tree sapling and what I like is it's a native tree sapling, so mm. they're really carefully thinking about what they're planting because there are a lot of brands that do this sort of thing and it, it's not always a tree that's native to the area, it's not always done in the most ethical way. But Dalesford being the brand that they are, everything's very much ethical and sustainable. Well thought out, yeah. And very well thought through. So mm. let's get it open. We've always said, haven't we, if you are lucky enough to be invited to spend some time with someone at Christmas, like if you're going over to a, a loved a loved one's house for Christmas, then often it's so hard to know what to bring, especially if the host is like, no, no, we've got it all covered. Yeah. If you turn up with a Dalesford hamper, then... This is the ultimate... The ultimate the thing ultimate to bring. The ultimate gift. We actually... Look, Dalesford is a high price point, but the quality of everything is fantastic. Yeah. And there are different hampers for different price points. There is a much 
more affordable than this, a smaller hamper mm. um, that's a lower price point and it's fantastic. That's just a few carefully created like cocktails or bottles of wine yeah. or snacks. The, the, the thing is, we found these are the perfect housewarming gifts as yeah. well. Yeah, housewarming. Also, we've sent them to friends who've just had babies. Yeah. Because it's just so lovely. I mean, who doesn't love a box full of just incredible, organic, lovely produce? I mean, look, to be honest, Dalesford for us is the ultimate gifting brand. Because yeah. the products are great. They're just a really nice thing to have in the house, whatever they are. Mm. Let's, get this open. Let's get into it. I'm going to pop the camera up here. I'm not going to be in this. There you go, you got half my face. Jolly good. Lucky you. That's all we need. Right. right, let's get into it. And what's so fun about these is that they're like quadruple layered, so it's almost yeah. like a and treasure it, hunt. It, and the nice thing is also that they use sustainable packaging. And you can put this in your garden as like a mulch for this mm. time of year. It's really good for your, um, what do I call it? Walnut honey. This is literally my dream wow. product. Wow, so that with cheese would be amazing. Ooh. Delicate and floral borage honey with walnut hearts. That is the most me thing ever. Yeah, and this, goodness. so this is called the Christmas Pantry Hamper, mm -hmm. and essentially everything in here is the perfect gift if you're going to someone house, someone's house that's hosting Christmas. Yeah. So these, this because is the... Because it's bougie stuff that maybe you wouldn't go and buy yourself. Exactly. And I think this hamper has things that you would use this Christmas, and also things that you would keep. Yes. So this is an organic fig and balsamic chutney, also Which amazing with cheese. Which I have cheese. tried before, and that is seriously delicious. I'm not sure what you'd use this for, clementine curd. Um... Cake. Okay, you so cake in a cake. Yes. Right, okay. I, um, could, I could actually, you have it on toast? Yeah, you could do. But when I made the lemon and um, pumpkin cake for your brother, that's what was in the middle. Oh yeah, perfect on crumpets. <gasps> oh! Delish. Now I don't know about this. Cherries with kirsch. What's kirsch? Um, it's a type of alcohol. Oh. I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's called kirsch. Kirsch. Kirsch, is it? Um, I, well let's have a look what they recommend. I don't know what Sweet black cherries soaked in kirsch syrup, delicious spooned over vanilla ice cream, or enjoyed with our mild and buttery Adelstrop cheese. Oh, Yamarillo. Oh, wow. Candied ginger and dark chocolate. Dada would love that. Yeah, I mean, that on its own is a lovely stocking filler, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's worth mentioning that if you live obviously locally or near a Dalesford, or if you fancy a trip to the Cotswolds, which as you guys know, we always champion, you can pop into into Dalesford and I think you can design your own ones of these as well. Yeah, you can. Um, but obviously if you can't, and a lot of us are very busy this time of year, all of them online, yeah. and you're We away. shall leave a link down below. What have you got there? Organic dark chocolate sea salt fins. Ooh. 50, 58%. Is that cocoa or cacao? That's cocoa. Cocoa. Yeah. I wonder what the difference is. I don't know. Um, I mean, another lovely box. And then we've got a traditional Christmas pudding. And I'm going to be honest. Does everyone really love eating Christmas pudding? Because I feel like for 11 of us, that is big enough. Yeah. Because people only want a No, no, I, I agree with you. Is I that agree the one you flame? Yeah. Mm. I think maybe this would be enough for eight people, actually. Yeah. Oh, look. English breakfast tea. I feel like wow. at Christmas, we make so many cups of tea for our yeah. family members, especially your dad. Yeah. This is so cute, right? Every morning, Charlie's dad comes down downstairs before Charlie's mum and makes her a cup of tea. Yeah, he does. And takes it up to her in bed. <laughs> I yeah. think you need to pick up that habit, darling. Bring well, me the up. problem is, bring I get up before you, mate. You're asleep. I know, so you can bring me a cup of coffee. All right. Organic biscuits for cheese. This is great. Th these are great biscuits as well. Listen to this. Organic manuka honey oat cakes. Yum. Rye spelt and raisin crisp breads. The seaweed ones, I'm not as convinced. Oh, I so bet I have they're to nice. The seaweed will be really salty. Now, I'm now this is ground coffee. Have we ever tried girls with ground coffee before? I don't know how to use that. We'll have to, we'll have to look into that. La la will. So oh, if there's wow. anything in these hampers that is not perfect for you, like we've got a bean to cup, we've got a grinder, so we actually can't use ground coffee. Well, I guess we could. No, we can definitely pour use that. water in it. Yeah. We'll... But this is going to go to la la. Wow. So these are just their organic biscuits, which I've tried some mm. of them before, but they're just so lovely with a cup of coffee. So good. Organic white chocolate lemon butter biscuits. Organic dark chocolate stem ginger. And white chocolate spiced coffee biscuits. I just wow. love the packaging as well. These boxes are great also. The Amandrel. The Amandrel. Yeah, the screws and batteries. Look at this, we've got to the exciting part. Oh, Ooh, go. this is good for you. Sparkling apple and bilberry juice. Nice. Don't yeah. know what bilberries are. Gonna be Googling that. That's what we call a Bilbo. Yeah. Bilbs. Love it. Cute. That's a, that is also a lovely thing to bring if either you don't drink or your host doesn't drink alcohol. Bring like a really luxurious alcohol-free alternative. Yeah. 
Sweet and venacious with a gentle fizz, a sparkling juice perfect for celebrations with all the family. That will be fantastic because yeah. I do miss champagne. That's mm. one drink that I do really miss, that and Guinness. So there's a nice luxury so that's good. Ooh, This that? is blood orange and cranberry gin, <gasps> but it's got gold flakes in it. Oh my gosh. That's, Look at again, that. such a nice stocking filler. Artisan gin liqueur with gold leaf. Oh my gosh. We're going to have the best the thing, the thing is, here's this. an idea. So this, look, this particular hamper is a quite a high price point. I think it's very much worthwhile and it's an amazing gift. However, it's also not a bad idea if you are trying to, if you're really struggling to buy things for your family, mm. buy this hamper, keep the hamper and then wrap up all the separate things because <laughs> yeah. they're all perfect little gifts. Yeah. I love that it's such a treasure hamper. It's like, yeah. when do we know when yeah. to stop? Oh, what have you got? Prosecco. I've got, you've got Prosecco. Yeah. I've got organic Filario. That's a white rude. wine, isn't it? I don't know, Filario. Organic white wine. Yeah, and this, Ooh. I've never tried this Prosecco, but I have been told it's very good. Which one is it? Well, it, it's their, just their regular Prosecco. You've obviously got the rose one. I that have you tried have. that and can confirm it's yeah. delicious. Also, how lovely is the, um, the wine label on this? Have you ever seen such a beautiful. Wine oh, label. this just keeps going. I know, more more. it's so exciting. Oh, these are amazing. Oh, these yeah. are utterly They're amazing. Organic, sweet and smoky nut selection. And equally, the jars are oh, such pretty good. jars, you keep and reuse them. Yeah. Oh my God, is there any more? Yeah, another bottle again? of wine. Oh I mean, this this really is, oh, this is the red. So this is the Rosso Piceno? Piceno. 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 Uh, yeah, this sounds nice. I mean, it's just the perfect gift if you're going to, like, if we were still, if mum and dad were still hosting Christmas, yeah. this would be the perfect gift to take, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Wow. I think we have come to the end. Is that it? That is very Well, I mean, there's a lot of things in here. Wow. Quite the selection. And then you've still got the box to play with. Yeah. What um, are we going to do with it? I think this one we will Christmas use for Christmas decorations. decorations. Yeah. And this I'm going to put in the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. And this, you can save these up, can't you, for your, for your Charles Dowling or not? my um no dig yeah i can do just pull it open well layer it up suppresses the weeds there you go yeah. well there you go there you go thank you for Del to Dalesford for sending us this and for working with us because Yay. we just absolutely love i feel like my audience is going to be like yes, yes. <laughs> that is the best do, do you know what though this is why we done. started this job uh is championing the brands that we love and sharing them with you all and then hopefully those brands want to work with us and, and support the channel, which enables us to continue in this line of work. So this is the perfect way of doing it, isn't mm. it? And this is just one of the hampers you can get from Dells with us. So many different kinds. So we'll leave them linked down below yeah. to check out. Um, There's and a really nice chocolate one that's just chocolate, like really? loads of different types of chocolate. And I think there is one, even at non-festive times of year, there's one that is like the new mum hamper. There's the congratulations hamper for oh, new jobs. Oh, yeah. There's, there's plenty. No, no, it's not just Christmas. I'd get ordering if, I, if you're thinking about ordering about these because I think they will sell out. Yeah. Uh, this one potentially would sell out, I think, because it's mm -hmm. so popular. Yeah, definitely. And you're literally heading to Dalesford now, aren't you? Today? I will be heading to Dalesford this afternoon, yeah. So, okay. so we'll have another Dalesford haul later. Yeah. Right, darling, right. let's pop all of this in the fridge. Boom, boom. Yay. Let's do this. What a fabulous hamper. Okay, my darlings, we are just going to head for a bit of a walk slash foraging for a festive foliage walk. <laughs> That's the plan. And I've not quite finished my coffee, but I really need one. So... I think I have shown you guys this before, but it really is such an epic gift idea. It's something that Charlie and I use so much. You probably will have heard us talking about Ocean Bottle before. Not only fantastic because it means you're not getting so much single-use plastic from the water bottles to now the brew cup as well. So this is super... Hang on a second, I need two hands to open this. So this will keep my coffee nice and toasty warm, just like the water bottles keep my water nice and cold, or it could keep my water warm if I so desired. And then you can actually pour your coffee, if you wish, into the lid and sip it in a civilized way. Like you are enjoying your coffee straight from a cup, you can pour it straight through by twisting the lid. Very, very clever. 
Both Charlie and I absolutely love the forest green. We've also got a black color. Here's one I made earlier. This is Charlie's ginormous ocean bottle in green. We've also got a gray one. And then this is Charlie's brew cup. So yeah, I'm just gonna pour my coffee into this one for our little walk. Um, and I'm going to leave these linked down below because we've actually picked up some of these for lots of different family members as Christmas gift ideas. And I think they would make fantastic stocking fillers. Charlie and I also picked picked up ocean bottles in different colours for each family member when we went to Kefalonia in summer. Not quite this size. This is really good if you're trying to keep track of your water intake throughout the day, but we've got the smaller size that we took with us in our beach bags. I always have one in my handbag. And I think for every regular size ocean bottle, it saves 11 kilograms or 11 plastic bottles from going into the ocean because they are made with ocean plastic. So very, very clever and sustainable. Lovely gift idea. Okay, we're on our foraging mission. I've got a basket and a big Ikea bag to fill with foliage, but it's still very frosty, even at half three in the afternoon. The sun hasn't been here. Hedgerow's looking a little bit lacking, so we might have to go a bit further afield. Hmm, let's see. But actually, the trees in our garden are covered in yew and ivy, so we might find what we need a little closer to home. We're actually not going that way, chicken. Is that not a bit cold on your pudding? We've had a fairly successful foraging mission. We've got lots of holly, lots of conifer, lots of yew, and then we've got some pine and fir left over from our floral um, decorations in the house. So this is a really good amount of foliage for the base of our wreaths. Just need to add some of the pretty bits and we're pretty ready to go. Looking good. And we just added this little bit of foliage under the shelf for a little subtle festive touch. I've got the floristry wire ready to go some of the stiff wire for adding in the pine cones, etc., which hopefully should be arriving from Amazon <laughs> any minute now. Okay, vlogging has gone very much downhill because we are now doing that mad dash around the house before our guests arrive in less than an hour. Doing the last minute tidying and sorting, I've just popped this lovely bunch of flowers that you can't really see <laughs> that Charlie picked up from Dalesford um, in the pink guest bedroom. Not sure who's going in which room yet, but we'll figure that out. This looks really lovely. As usual, I've put them in a glass vase, which is then inside the terracotta vase. <laughs> My next job is to lay the dining table and then I need to get myself ready. Okay, my final job before I go and get myself ready is to lay the table. I've got my bits and bobs ready here, so let's pop you on a time lapse and get this done. Okay, my darlings, we have very much gone for a green and natural, surprise, surprise, tablescape for this evening. One of the um, pine garlands, which is designed for the archway in the family room, which we think we might have a solution for, by the way, stay tuned, is currently being used as a table centerpiece, undecorated, keeping it simple. And each place setting has got a natural uh, placemat, Charingworth cutlery, we have got our Dalesford um, plates and bowls ready for the curry later and then our gorgeous new glasses which are also both from Dalesford. Antique sourced um, <laughs> candle holders 
and then the chandeliers at the end. I love that at this height of flower arrangements, you can clearly talk to your guests and serve food without anything getting in the way, and yet the room is still beautifully decorated. Now I have to say, Susie has done my absolute favorite thing, which is share her location with me. I think she's about 15 minutes away with Ryan and little Nala. Are you ready to make a friend, Dexy? I hope you're going to be friendly, my boy. So I'm gonna take that as my cue to go and get myself ready. I'm not gonna lie, the guest rooms are looking so cozy. Oh, just love having friends over, especially at this time of year. And Charlie picked up some Dalesford gifts for our pals. We have got some Dalesford kindling um, room diffuser and some vegan goodies in here for Susie and Ryan. Oh, there, darling. We have good coat treats. I liked the image. Come look at the image. The Do dog. you think their dog is also vegan? I don't think so. No. Well, let's hope not because they've got organic beef and vegetable. <laughs> Gorgeous. And what have you got for Bobo? Bo has got game and pheasant because he's a country boy. <laughs> so I think he'd appreciate game and pheasant. Oh, what lucky doggies. See, I spend most of my weeks chasing pheasant. Yes, so and it's now. It's nice to taste them. Oh, right. Oh, uh, where are you there. going, mate? They're staying in here. Yeah. Let's show everyone how cozy the garden room looks. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and warm in here as well. Why are these shoes been moved? Oh, sorry. I was filming some stories. Because it's important they stay there. Yeah, mate. Because otherwise the mirror's going to get broken. I have so for Victoria and Alex, we've got some hot sauce. We've got some lovely Dells well, for that's gin. Right, that's come straight from Tennessee, mate. <laughs> that's very <laughs> thoughtful. Hot sauce. Oh, cute. Right, I need to go and get myself ready. Okay, just sorting out the nibbles before everybody gets here. We're doing almonds and the Dillsford Organic Sweet and Smoky Nut Selection. Do you know? Do you know one reason I got those almonds? Why, darling? A lot of nuts have honey in. Really? Which are not vegan. Ooh. Honey roasted. Interesting. I didn't know that. Well, are these vegan? Hopefully. No, no, they'll be vegan. Hmm. But there are a lot of things that you don't think of. Yeah, mostly butter, I guess. Yeah. This rarely happens, but we are actually ready for our guests to arrive. No last minute dash. So the fire is lit in here. Charlie has got the food prep well underway for our veggie curry night. Dexy knows that he's got friends coming, so he's feeling a little anxious. Whoops, I've still got my outdoor shoes on. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. I've got Christmas, Christmas jumper dressed sausage dogs on my socks. Okay. Yep. Get out of it. And in here, it is looking and sounding very festive. The fire is lit, the tree is lit, and the room smells incredible. This is a Bamford candle, also available from Dalesford, and it just smells. It is, it is without doubt the best smelling Christmas candle of, of the lot. <laughs> And my outfit of the evening, <laughs> just wanted to be super cozy, so I have popped on this new knit. It's actually from Lueve. I've still got my leggings on because I'm going to spend the majority of the evening kissing dogs, <laughs> to be totally honest. Um, but I thought these looked like little reindeers, so it's a little bit festive. And then I've added um, one of Victoria's Edge of Ember necklaces, my Alex Monroe. Uh, turnip necklace as well, Alex Monroe kale ring, Monica Vinita earrings, and my usual bracelets. Just realised I've forgotten my watch, so I'm going to pop that on. Isn't that just so scary? <laughs> this lady in the background. I'm going to pop my watch on, quick spritz of fragrance, and then I'm totally ready. Gosh, this never happens. <laughs> this is here. Oh, I actually, to be fair, Charlie's reunited. I'm going to tell you, I was best going to buy all the dogs. Friend. Oh, I'm back to my daddy. Back to my daddy. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, it's safe to say our house guests have made friends with his lordship. Oh, look at little Nala on the sofa with her daddy. Dickie has firmly given Susie the kiss of approval. Dickie only loves most pure-hearted people, so that's a very good sign, Susie. Oh, thank you. 
So Susie's here, Ryan's here, most importantly Nala's here, Bobo's here, Bobo's daddy's here and Bobo's mummy's here. I'm the only one not wearing a striped jumper. Look at these two. Did you plan this? And I just said I actually don't have a striped jumper. <laughs> we can play Where's Wally. On the run. sweet one. Oh, we love each other. We love each other. I wish I could put Queen, you're my best friend, over, over this. Ooh, you're making me feel. You can just sing it instead. You're my best friend. Bo looks so festive. He really. Oh, the bum in the face! That really is a play with me sign. <laughs> Christmas poem.